Today, we're doing a book review. Yeah. <laughs> fuck was that? What the fuck was that? And the book we're reviewing is one of my absolute favorites and that's why we're reviewing it today. It is the never ending story of which I happen to have two copies because it's it's just that good, isn't it? I read this book the first time when I was 12 years old, I think, or 11, um, and I loved it. I loved it so much. I've reread it two times maybe since then, and I still love it. It's still one of my absolute favorite books I've ever read. This was recommended to me at the age of 11 or 12 or whatever, by my wonderful librarian to whom I owe so much of my love for reading. She was great. Um, she told me to read this and I did and here we are. The Never Ending Story is a magical book about a boy called Bastion. Bastion is being bullied in school and one day when he's, he's being chased by his bullies, he runs into a bookshop owned by a Mr. Coriander. Mr. Coriander doesn't like children, so he scolds Bastion a bit, calls him some names. Um, <laughs> but Mr. Coriander was reading a book when Bastion came in, uh, a book which Bastion ends up stealing when Mr. Coriander goes to pick up the phone. Now Bastion can't really tell why he's got a sudden urge to steal this book, but he does and goes to school because he's late. When he gets to school, he decides that he's not going to go to class. He's going to go up on the school loft and sit there and read this book called The Never Ending Story. Meta in it. So he starts reading this book, which is about a boy around Bastian's age called Atreyu who is sent out on a mission to find someone who can give the child empress a new name in order to save the, um, the empire. Now the first half of the book is about this, the quest for a new name for the child empress. Uh, but then the other half is about something a bit different. Um, some of you may be here because you've seen the film, the Aegis film. <sighs> Fuck. I hated that so much. Not because it was a bad film in of itself, but it's just such a bad representation of the book. And this is why. This right here is what the, the film depicts. And all of this, nowhere to be found in the film at all. And the thing is that films do this a lot with uh, books <laughs> when, when they make adaptations into films from books. Uh, they cut out stuff, but normally they cut up, you know, they'll cut up something here or cut out something here. They won't uh, necessarily stop halfway through a book. Who the fuck does that, honestly? So disappointing. So disappointing. So if you've seen the film, all of this will be unknown to you. I said in the beginning that this is a magical book. And the reason I say that is that somehow this book can manage to keep me entertained throughout, even though I've read it before, even though I'm now an adult reading it with the eyes of an adult. I can still enjoy the book fully and I can still, every time I read it, I find something new to enjoy and to think about. It's a very philosophical book and I'm not religious in any way. This is probably the closest thing that I will ever get to being religious because this book, this book is life advice. It's a story about finding yourself and trying to understand what it is that you really want. Not just what you want, but what you really want. Um, and I don't get 
how Michael Ende was able to do that. It's it blows my mind. I still don't get it. I I, I don't get it. So who would I recommend this book for? Well, that's a tricky thing, isn't it? Definitely something that a child around the age like 10 to 12 would definitely enjoy if they're into sort of fantasy um, stuff. But really, it's something enjoyable at any age. Um, and I think especially reading, maybe reading this book with a younger child, um, maybe below the age of 10, if they're, they're not really advanced enough readers to read it themselves. I think it would be a very enjoyable experience for both child and adult. So all I can say now is just read this book. Just do it. Just read it. Just, just read this book. Okay. Just, just do it. 